Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Melanie, it's a wonderful pleasure to have you here. Um, my friend, my colleague of uh, several years now, um, and particularly good to have you here today at the State Department. We have a lot of work that we're doing together on a regular basis on, a, on bilateral issues, uh, regional issues, global issues. The United States and Canada are the closest of partners. Uh, and when it comes to our bilateral issues, we have a shared responsibility to manage the Columbia River, and we've been working on uh, an agreement to modernize uh, the work that we do together, and uh, hope very much that we can bring that to conclusion uh, soon. Uh, regionally, of course, we've been doing so much uh, in the context of the North American Leaders Summit, uh, as well as beyond, I think, very good work by our teams with our Mexican colleagues as well on issues that matter profoundly to our people, including, for example, synthetic opioids, uh, fentanyl, uh, and others. And then, of course, uh, on a global basis, the United States and Canada are joined in trying to deal with many of the challenges of this moment, whether it's the ongoing Russian aggression against Ukraine, uh, whether it's the war between Israel and uh, Hamas, uh, and whether closer to home, uh, it's the challenges in Haiti. So I look very much forward, Melanie, to talking uh, uh, about all of that with you. And then this afternoon, we also have an opportunity to uh, speak together about something that is near and dear to both of our hearts, where Canada has been leading uh, these past years, and that's the whole uh, question of arbitrary detention. Um, citizens of our countries and many others who are arbitrarily detained and used as political pawns. Uh, Canada has been leading an effort to bring countries uh, around the world together to face that challenge, to meet that challenge, and to make sure that we, um, we see real change in the conduct of countries that would engage in it. Welcome. Thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure to be here um, and to be at the State Department and to meet all of your team again. Um, indeed, Canada and the U.S. have worked uh, over the years to make sure that we live in a more secure world and that people on both sides of our border uh, are uh, safe and secure as well. Um, I look forward to talking to you about many bilateral important aspects that are dear to our people, including, of course, the Columbia uh, River Treaty, um, but also uh, working on energy security mm. together. Um, and we know that there are uh, many uh, important regional issues, including Haiti, uh, that we will be talking about, as well as international security issues as we're dealing with an international security crisis. Of course, uh, Ukraine. I was just in Ukraine looking mm. forward to debriefing you on it, uh, as well as uh, long-term peace in the Middle East, including uh, a two-state solution process. Donc, ça me fait plaisir d'être avec le secrétaire d'État, mon ami Tony. Um, nous allons parler de plusieurs enjeux qui nous concernent, certainement la, le fait que nous devons uh, nous assurer que nos nos, nos peuples, nos populations des deux côtés de la frontière soient en toute sécurité. Nous allons parler de plusieurs enjeux, des enjeux bilatéraux, des enjeux liés, euh, bien entendu, à la sécurité régionale, incluant Haïti, mais aussi encore des sujets qui sont liés à la sécurité internationale, incluant l'Ukraine et la question du Moyen-Orient, qui inclut nécessairement un processus de solution à deux États. Merci. Thank you. Merci tout le monde. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. <coughs>